Street Science, you're on the air. An unbelievable sight in downtown Los Angeles. What do you feel when you see... Taggers going to town on a 53-story high-rise in downtown L.A. Every single one of the 27 floors of all three buildings are covered in graffiti. If there is any security here, nobody is stopping them. A building that was supposed to revitalize the neighborhood. We're talking about the three high-rise buildings you see behind me. It's part of a billion-dollar project in downtown Los Angeles. But the billion-dollar baby has been abandoned for five years. The buildings are abandoned. Oceanwide Plaza was reportedly billed as a downtown renaissance jewel. It was going to be three towers of luxury apartments right across from Crypto.com Arena and LA Live. But the Chinese developers behind the project ran out of money. Now the Oceanwide Plaza buildings have become towers hours of crime clearly attracting a lot of taggers taggers have been out there every night and as you can see they've covered every available surface that they can get to and they keep coming back and tagging some more floor after floor each balcony covered in brightly colored eye-popping graffiti does it surprise you that something like this would happen i'm honestly kind of surprised it took this long for it to happen it's been wild to watch it's it's kind of interesting sounds interesting to me. Not everybody agrees that it's so interesting. I and my neighbors are all incredibly unhappy about this. People think that graffiti isn't a problem and that it's a victimless crime, and it's not. It's an eyesore. Why do you suppose a kid does this? I really don't know. I know he was coming up, he wouldn't do that. It seems to be something that they're saying, hey, look, here's me. I guess they just want to put the name, let the name be seen, that's all. Yeah. That's about it. Do they ever catch these kids? I really don't know. Come on. What will this look like tomorrow? Practically the same. They'll be back over the, in that short a time? Yep. Tomorrow. And then you'll come back and clean it? Right. Can you stay ahead of it? No. Not really. Yeah, well, what's going to make it end? I really don't know. I really don't know. A lot of other experts don't either. Isn't it against the law to write on the walls? Yeah, but if God's looking for us to write on the wall, and there's other things out in the street doing worse than this, and now they got a bad thing going on. When I was a youngster, I didn't write on the walls. Is it You just like to see your name there? What does that all mean, those numbers? Some people do. Some Somebody just write it for fun. Everybody else writes their name, so some other somebody else start writing, the whole group starts going together. That's why we write, to give the city a hard time. Why do you want to give the city a hard time? They don't give us no more programs to go to, no more tournaments, nothing like that to go into. You think there's nothing to do? There ain't barely nothing to do no more. You see this every night. What do you think of this graffiti? Well, I don't like it. It makes the job a lot rougher than it is. You know, you ever run into the kids that do this? I see, I see a couple of them once in a while. Maybe I see them on my way to work or coming home from work, but I don't bother with them. What do you suppose makes a kid do this? I don't know what goes on in their minds. I see some kids down on the tracks, writing them on the, on the cars, and you want to stand on those rails and ride on the cars. And, you know, I, don't, I don't really have any feelings about it. He's got a job to do it, to do it. How could you get this stopped? Well, uh, I don't know if anyone actually has the answer. I think the answer lies somewhere in the home and uh, with uh, the institutions, courts, and people like that. You think it's all part of what's going on? Yes, yeah, part of the scene. So the kids think it's, uh, it's the thing to do. Somebody starts it and they catch it up and it keeps going. Mm -hmm. Maybe we ought to just get used to it and forget it. Well, I made a suggestion uh, in that direction once to my superiors. I, I suggested that they leave it for a while and just let it, uh, let the whole area get saturated for a while and maybe they'll find something else to do. Up to now, you feel at least it didn't do any good to catch these kids? No, not at the present. Why? Because they're doing it for publicity and uh, they're just destructive. Right away, they could have stopped this whole epidemic quickly. You, you spent a good part of your life looking for graffiti. Why do you think they should stop it? I gather you like graffiti. I love graffiti. Uh, the graffiti is, uh, I think, one of the great, great boons of mankind because uh, 
if it's in a message form or if it's in a joke or if it uh, lightens your day or it gives you a smile when you see it. But just to see uh, the desecration of uh, property or the uh, ugly, uh, just a name and a number means nothing. I hate the idea that it's, that it's even called graffiti. What is a graffiti writer? Why would somebody write graffiti? Oh, they write for various reasons. They have a message. Uh, they may want to uh, legalize abortion, or they may want to uh, gay liberation or something, or they may even be uh, completely uh, altruistic and they want to share a joke with you, or they have an interesting or funny thought, and they put it down. Their deep feeling is, is really what the, the kid graffiti is about. They don't want to be anonymous in a way that they want to say, look, I exist in this time and space, here I am, and they put their name down. Men have done this even uh, thousands of years back. Uh, they put their handprint on a cave you know, before they could write uh, and outline their fingers with, uh, with charcoal just to show that they, they were on Earth. You, the These people who do it are not hard to find. Just find them. Uh, one channel had a program with them actually on the show, so it doesn't take the great uh, detective work to find them. Once you found them, your problem is solved. Send them to college, send them to jail, uh, send them around the world, give them walls uh, to, to paint on, give them anything, but just don't let it get to the crazy proportions. Uh, the, uh, these people are not the regular graffiti writers who want to be anonymous. These people are seen, they want people to see them at their work, they make no bones about who they are, 